Come on along. Yeah, I told you guys I'd bring you back. For what? For this. Did you know them are all fitted bolts? Like, really, really tight? I bet you did. Anyways, there's the machine work. Machine work. I'm doing the, putting the ring gear on. I'm gonna draw it up in there. Nice and evenly, and then, I don't know, maybe I'll put the differential part together. You know, we got everything all cleaned up over there on a pallet skid, skid pallet, and then uh, we'll put that bearing on there. But that's what it looks like. All sheened up. You see the pit holes, pin holes, because of, even though I tagged it, that, that when you get into that first amount of uh, cast iron, no matter if you're using stick or tag it, like, it just kind of, it poops at you. Poops and dribbles and stuff. So anyways, that's that's the finish. I just picked it up last night after work. Machine shop. Boshin. Boshin? What did that guy tell me? Boshan. In French. Is that how you pronounce it, Uncle Tony? Boshan? Means the butcher. I guess. That's what I'm told. So anyways, here I am back in my little big workshop. Messing around. Trying to get it put back together in quiet time. Bring it back when I drop that Baron on there, maybe. Okay. Watch Mike fuck up. That'll happen. Not quite hot enough. We'll see if it works this time. Got the Baron in the oven. Baron? The Baron's in the oven.
Not a bun in the oven, the Baron. Cooking, she's cooking. Last one didn't go so well. The last one I had to pound on. This one I don't have to pound on. Look at that. See that? That's having a good sheenist and in a toaster oven. Get him, get him, sick him. I like that. Now I can move on to the housing. Right on, roll. Yeah, that's how it works here in the big world. The big metropolis. Turn my toaster oven off. So yeah, the other side, when I checked the fit, it was uh, more than a, uh, it was a interference fit. So I had to heat it up. It didn't quite expand the way I wanted it to. You might have seen that in there and blah, 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 if I put it in there, but that's what I wanted. That's un perfecto. She's good, even though it's made in El Spano. Everything's torqued. That all went together good. The locker mechanism. Now I got to bring the housing over here and get the pinion in and get that all set up with all the new barons. Then we marry the two together like mama and papa. So we'll see you back in a little bit, I suppose. Maybe not. Yeah, so that was the customer, I guess, sir. Um, I got her done. It's hanging here from the forklifty. Because it can, and he's coming on, I don't know what day, but here you see that spot where I welded. And these two adjusters, one on either side. Oh, and the back hurts, holy crap. That thing is heavy. Um, yeah, I didn't even polish them welds because I figured yeah, it's going to run an 80, 90 weight. And, the bearings, that one I had to tap on pretty hard. This one, she slid right on with a little bit of heat. Same with the other ones. I had to get them to bring me the yoke and stuff so I could set that that tension in there, the pinion there, eh? Hey. But, you hear that? Listen close. I don't know what it's supposed to be because I don't have a manual, but I set it for... That's about 10,000, so I would say a lash, something like that. And it's plenty wore out. I found the date on there from 19, 1973. And, you know, if you guys are in the neck of the woods, get your bearings here. They're good. A couple of good ladies over there to take care of us. But, yeah, that's what I did all day. I only had to take it apart once after I put it together once. That's because it was, you don't know how they put that stuff together back in the day. And it was wrecked when I got it, so I just ripped it apart. And the way it's designed, you had to put the pinion in partially before you put the ring and stuff in there. And then anyways, it's neither here nor there, it's done. So they'll get that old, old Franklin going, old Frankie. So hope you guys enjoy that, seeing it come to fruition. I think it worked out pretty damn slick. You know, could have been, what did I tell you the other day? Seven or eight grand for that remand one, but then the ring and opinion were wrong. Would have had to change them out anyways and use these. Yeah, that just didn't make sense. So I think there's about, I ain't even gonna tell you how much. There's a lot, there's one, two, three, four, five, five, five bearings. Four of them had separate races I had to get because that's the way they did shit back then. Uh, you know them things. Um, in a couple seals and the welding and in my time welding it up so it's, it ain't gonna be that cheap but it's gonna be way cheaper than uh, the other option 
and or scrapping the machine. So anyways, you guys have a great weekend or whatever you're doing, and we'll see you later. Austin Lumbago, man.